Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel Flurbert. Uh, today I'm going to take you on an adventure on how I make my my stuff in Unreal. Um, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to create something um, hopefully quite beautiful uh, and you can follow along. So let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to use Unreal Engine 4.26 and some Quixel, so Quixel Mega Scans adds assets. Um, start a new project, a uh, game project, yes, first person because uh, I want to get close up to the objects and first person I think is slightly nicer. Uh, no ray tracing. Uh, we could do ray tracing, but ray tracing and tessellation, I couldn't get it working when I was doing tryouts for this video. So um, no ray tracing in, in this project. Uh, give it a nice name, something like uh, and subscribe, create project. So the engine has loaded i will put this to uh, cinematic scalability because my laptop is kind of thick um and i'm going to create a new level control new empty level because i don't want anything of the default stuff a new project you need to like do at least one one little thingy and that's project settings and Python remote um, execution enable that and also go to mega scans and enable displacement that will that's very important to do right like at right at the beginning of your project because all the materials that you will import um, will not have the displacement sliders if you don't enable it um, when you import it. Well, you get what I mean. Okay, um, so enough talking, let's do something. Um, I'm going to build this or try to build something that looks like this neoclassical uh, building. And I think it looks pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, let's try to uh, replicate this uh, in Unreal. I'm going to grab these and these and these and these and these. I just basically grab everything. Um, and I'm going to check my download settings before I do anything. So I download all of the LODs, which is really quite important for these really high um, quality assets um, that you have like proper LODs assigned to everything. Um, also check the export settings because you can have them downloaded but not enabled and what's the point? And I hit export. There we go. right back into Unreal and I'm going to go to the Epic Store because um, I'm lazy um, and because I'm lazy I, I buy stuff that help me out being lazy. No, what I want is Ultra Dynamic Sky. I took this project then it will be like and subscribe to this project. There we go, verifying, bada bim, bada boom. What I also want to do is import this, um, well, actually let's let's just create it from scratch. Um, so I'm going to select this and delete, so you can see ex everything I do to, you know, to create what I do. Um, so I'm going to add a mesh, so shift A, mesh, plane, this is Blender, I don't know, yeah, you, you should know, but this is Blender. And I'm going to grab Y there, grab X there. So 
it's nice. Uh, the corner is is at the origin, so it will be easy to tell. Okay, okay. Um, now I'm going to edit mode, subdivide, and just take 19. Why 19? Well, because I think it's the right balance between um, between just enough um, vertices to uh, be able to tessellate properly and not too many, so um, you will bring Unreal to its to its knees, even on a powerful laptop like mine. Um, so with that done. Uh, you don't have to unwrap this because, um, well, it's a plane and it's already unwrapped. Uh, so move this to mesh and then here's where the magic ha happens. Pipeline export sent to Unreal. And I think it came over just fine this time. Yes, there it is. And I can put this into... My world, uh, zero, 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 and there you have it, a nice plane with some, um, with some nice vertices on it. And move that over here, and I'm going to set my grid size to 100, because, uh, look at this, I can just drag out a piece and drag out a piece and they just snap uh, at exactly the right place so that's really nice really helps you get like into the flow of creating stuff um okay back to lit mode there's nothing there's no light so um there shall be light i guess but bim but boom and there was light and there was also weather and it was raining but i wanted partly clouded because look at those volumetric volumetric clouds isn't it beautiful yeah all right um so back to this plane this plane i shall move to a new folder and call it floor just to keep stuff organized. Um, and this floor uh, plane doesn't have any uh, texture on it or material as you say in Unreal Engine. Um, so I'm going to have a look for some nice material. Oh, maybe this will, will work. It's just a pebble crown. That's nice to show the uh, tessellation later on, the displacement, whatever. You... And there you have it, pebble crown. And shifty. And put the material right. Oh, yes. Okay, there's no tessellation, but that's okay. We can fix that. Just enable and um, twelve. I think twelve is like the default. Twelve or fourteen. Look at that so beautiful um, and I think we might want some um, tiling yeah this says tiling but is this tiling or is it yeah I think it is four by four hmm I think 14 is a bit much. I think pi is fine after all. So I put it on 1.14, 3.14. There you go. 
I'm going to save this. And um, let's let's put in um, some stuff as like reference material. The mannequin. Oh wait, this was first person. I don't have a mannequin. Well then we at um. Third person mannequin. There you go. Those two by two tiles are not that big. Okay, well, whatever. Um, what were we going to do? Save. Yes, of course. Save, uh, save everything. Always. Um. <coughs> right, so before we continue, I want to... Uh, change something in, in the in the parent in the default material displacement just open that up and here you will have like the adjustments it's the albedo metallic roughness that kind of stuff you've got basically everything you need right here um and we're going to add i was <laughs> pressing shift 8 i guess that doesn't work um uh, uh, snow and wet like this and the base color can go like that roughness normal um, the height you can just Take the displacement, the red of the displacement, and put it into a height that will be fine. And now we have like this stuff, and we just move that over here. Um, okay, so now we take the base color and the output into the albedo and the roughness it wants to have the roughness roughness into roughness roughness out into the roughness over here you see and I'm just double tapping a line if I need to have uh, a breaking point I don't know how you call those but you know what I mean just double tap the line and it works. Um, so normal to normal. And to make this look a little bit better, just um, move it like so. Move this like like that. Yeah, that's f that that. It's almost cool. Not quite, but um, what am I saying here? Oh, no, 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 no. Just select and move it. And make another node. And make another. I like to keep it like slightly organized. So when you go back to your code or your no network for your uh, materials you can like read it better I, th I guess save and apply
Oh, and one more thing. 